Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at the weekend forecast. As you can see, I'm not recording in my normal location, so this will be a little bit different, but there is some interesting weather going on uh, this weekend as we're transitioning more towards winter and more towards winter weather with two chances for some wintry precipitation as well as a lot of rain today. So uh, lots to look at, lots to get into. So let's start. Um, we're also going to have a preview at the end after the normal part of this forecast for Monday morning because Sunday night into Monday is when we could see some accumulating snow. Uh, spoiler alert, doesn't look like we're going to see anything that's going to affect uh, road travel, but definitely could see some slushy accumulation, especially at the higher elevations. Okay, so what's going on this morning? We have this very strong frontal system that is moving lots of rain in our direction. Uh, the heaviest rain should occur today from about uh, 10 to about 2 in the afternoon, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then we taper to just a few showers. Um, in that time, we'll probably get 1 to 2 inches of rain for most of, south, or most of southern Vermont. As we take a look at, oops, let me get rid of my squiggle. Um, as we pan out a little bit more, you can see here's the front. Here's some of the upper. Here's another uh, upper level storm that's providing our energy, and you can see we have some colder temperatures here over Canada, um, and that's going to head in our direction. And so, as we get kind of a reinforcing area of moisture and low pressure heading in our direction tomorrow, um, that'll give us a chance to, for rain changing to snow tomorrow afternoon into the early evening. I don't think that'll accumulate at all, but it will just. Uh, we'll have some uh, briefly even heavier snow showers as they mix with uh, snow at the very end of the storm before we start to clear out. And then it's actually this storm way back here that we have to look at for Monday. So that's a lot of squiggles. Sorry about that. That's why I don't usually do this with the squiggles. But like I said, different location. So what's going on today? Here's our frontal boundary. And you can see we've got rain here over the northeast. Um, and that's going to swing through. And then tomorrow, uh, the what happens is the front doesn't really move that much and then this new area of low pressure kind of rides along the front and it turns the winds out of the northeast briefly at the end of this precipitation and as that happens we're going to tap a little bit of cold air here from Quebec just enough to change our rain to snow probably tomorrow evening I would say from the highest elevations down to the lower elevations uh, that start that process starts between five and about seven o'clock um, and it ends really just with maybe um, at the higher elevations maybe an hour or so of some of that light uh, to moderate snow um, where there could be some grassy accumulations I'm talking about above 2,500 feet probably but for most of us it just is snow in the air that melts as it hits the ground um, for the last 10 to 15 minutes of the precipitation on Saturday I think is what's going to happen uh, so in terms of the forecast for the weekend here's what that looks like uh, it's today we're rainy all day we're in the mid 50s uh, tonight uh, mostly just cloudy tonight, could be a couple of sprinkles overnight, but basically just cloudy. We cool back down into the 30s. Tomorrow we get warmer in the morning. That 49 degree high happens probably before 11 a.m. Um, and with some rain showers. And then, like I said, by the late afternoon, um, we mix in some snow as our temperatures start to crash back towards the low 30s. Sunday, um, we're mostly cloudy. Could see a flurry in the air, but I think Sunday is mostly a dry day. Highs in the upper 30s for most of us. And then uh, that Sunday night into Monday, we'll go into the details, but we have uh, some snow, particularly at the higher elevations that may accumulate. And most of us will see some snow and probably at least a, uh, a quick coating on the grassy surfaces by Monday morning. In terms of your outdoor activity forecast for this first hunting uh, weekend uh, rifle se of rifle season, um, we're looking at moderate to heavy rain all day today. Tomorrow, showers heavier in the afternoon uh, when snow mixes in, accumulation above 2,000 feet, and accumulation not on roads or anything like that at 2,000 feet is pretty high up, but um, does mean we could get an inch or two of snow for places above that. Sunday is a decent late fall day, breezy, lots of clouds, could be a flurry like I said. Then our attention turns to the upper level pattern. So here Here's this big low, uh, upper level low, which isn't really going to move too much, and it's going to get reinforced by some of this energy here, which way out to the west, which is going to race across the country, uh, for, so that by Sunday night uh, into Monday morning, it provides us with a little another round of precipitation. This time, it will be mostly in the form of snow, particularly snow above about. 1,500 feet, uh, kind of a mix of rain and snow below that. Um, so the accumulation will mostly be uh, confined to those areas above 1,500 feet. Uh, in terms of what that's going to do, uh, what's going to happen at the surface for that day, whoops, sorry, um, we've got, here's going to be our main area of low pressure system, but we are going to have a developing low off the coast. 
and some of this depends on how quickly this uh, area of low pressure develops off the coast for how much precipitation we actually get. It will turn, what's going to happen is once again it'll turn our wind direction to the northeast, which again helps lock us in with some cooler air filtering in from the north, and it's just cool enough that we could see, like I said, that, that frozen precipitation uh, as this storm gets going. But there's uh, quite a bit of debate about how strong this storm will actually get. Um, uh, but and no matter what, it's not going to get strong enough to give us more than a slushy inch or two, maybe three at the highest elevations. And I don't think the roads will be a problem at all on Monday morning as it's just so warm that anything that falls on roadways will just melt. But um, the grassy surfaces could see a little accumulation. So in terms of details, what does that look like? Timing would be about 11 p.m. Sunday through 8 a.m. on Monday. Mostly snow above 1,500 feet, mixed below 1,500 feet. One to two inches on the grassy surfaces. Like I said, wouldn't be surprised to see three or four. Like if you're looking at the webcam at the top of Stratton, three, four, maybe five inches of snow wouldn't be surprising. But most of us, um, where anybody lives, even the people who live at high elevations, we're talking an inch or two and not on the roads. No road issues, I don't think. Um, but it will be the first time, at least particularly the tops of the mountains, look white. Um, as we head through uh, the middle part of November. Otherwise, uh, looks like we're, and then it looks like we're in for a, a hectic and potentially colder pattern next week. Looks like there is another shot late in the week of uh, a storm, whether that's snow or rain or even hits us, we'll have to see. Um, I will probably be back with an update on your Monday forecast sometime on Saturday, I think. So sometime tomorrow, probably later in the day, but we'll have to see exactly when I, when I get that out. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or to email me, and I will be happy to get those back to you. And um, thanks for joining and supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do so. Um, and I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy.